In this video, we're going to follow up on the rounded rectangle cross-section and discuss a few of the nuanced behaviors of this particular type. So in this case, I've gone to a hidden view, and you can see that we have a bit of a rough tessellation here with a num w is 33. And because we have a nice rounded corner, it might seem like this you know, slightly faceted corner around this radius is acceptable. But watch what happens when we take this down to zero. You can see that a feature line is created because it's telling the model that it wants a feature line between these, say, 7 eighths and 1 8 positions in the W direction to fall through that corner. And there's a reason for that. When that's active, it's saying that you want to have something passing through here. Key corner is what makes this happen. If we turn this off, watch what happens. We've chamfered this edge off because it's just setting its normal W spacing of all of these interpolated lines and it skips across the corner. Well, we don't want that to happen. This hasn't made a sharp boxed edge like we want. We want that feature line to snap right in here and have a nice sharp 90 degree corner. Key corner is what makes that happen. And it still has a little bit to play whenever we have a radius. If we turn it off, you can see that it alters where that line falls through on this location of the radius. If we turn it off, it has shifted around this corner. That's a key behavior to pay attention to. Now, we also have the ability to turn off all symmetries to where only the right and left are symmetric or the top or bottom are symmetric. Now, if we do right and left, notice that we can control one side and then the bottom is completely different, but the right and left is symmetric. If we do top and bottom, now we have control of the right and the left independently of each other. If we turn all of these off, well now we can set a sharp corner on one side, some completely different radius on the other, and we can really get into where we play around with these shapes. So rounded rectangle is now far more versatile than it used to be earlier than version 324. So you can see how if you start to play around with things like vertical skew, a little bit of horizontal skew, keystone even, where you start to adjust this shape and kind of bend and mold this cross section, that you can create something that is in no way, shape, or form representative of a rounded rectangle. This is something completely different. Now, something that usually happens is some folks will build a model and think, I'm going to use a rounded rectangle for this cross-section on, say, a general aviation aircraft because that's what it is in real life. It's just a simple flat-sided box with rounded corners. And then what they'll do is they'll try and include that fuselage in a VSP aero run. But think carefully about what a degenerate geometry is. It's taking all of those interpolated lines and smashing them down into a cruciform where it's a flat potato chip on the horizontal direction and a flat chip in the vertical direction. What happens is all of these interpolated sections right on top of each other are smashed into a single point and that causes a lot of problems when you're trying to treat something as if it's multiple side-by-side -side panels. So when you run VSP Arrow and you have a rounded rectangle section, almost guaranteed you're going to see the first iteration come up with not a number and it's going to get mad at you. You might be confused why that happens. Rounded rectangle is the reason why. Now, if you insist on using a cruciform in a vortex lattice mode, which you really shouldn't use body types, they don't add anything to the model except occasionally enforcing the moments. You can use something like an ellipse instead, which is going to maintain whatever height and width you have set, and it will work in your vortex lattice mode just fine. But that means that if you want an outer mold line model that's physically representative of your aircraft, you need to make a copy that has the elliptical cross sections that's just intended for your aerodynamic analyses. So be really careful when you're using rounded rectangle, but know that because it has all of these parameters available to it and you can create some really interesting shapes, it's a very, very versatile cross section that I encourage you to play around with.